What's good, guys? If you're looking for cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure I head over my sponsor. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout for the most cheapest, most fastest, most quickest, reliable source on the internet right now. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K22 My Team video. And what's good before we do get into the video? If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to sub it up, comment down below. More likes, if we have 50 likes in this video. Get some new subscribers. We get some comments down below. We're going to do a giveaway this week on Friday. We might give away a game. We might give away some VC. And also, if you guys do need MT, hit me up on buying and selling MT on Instagram and Twitter. Links down below. And if you guys are into sports cards, make sure to follow me on there as well. Um, anyways. Anyways. Let's get to this market, man. We're going to talk about the market. We're going to talk about every single tier. We're going to see if, it's <clears throat> if you can make MT this way. Um, as you guys know, I did get banned on my main account. So I'm not going to really have MT. Um, my, my main account was pretty good. I had almost 100k MT. I was grinding in snipes um, But I guess on this account, we're gonna also try to grind the snipes. I literally want to play this game I want to play five on five. I want to play draft, but I'm scared if I get banned on this account, too Then I'm actually screwed. I have no accounts. So uh, I don't want to get console banned. That would really suck But uh, we're gonna go over amethyst man amethyst went up huge market rise huge market rise and honestly I can see them dropping content tomorrow if they do drop content tomorrow, it's not going to be anything crazy. They usually do drop content on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. When they do drop content on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, it's really not a fan favorite. It's nothing crazy, um, in my opinion. But honestly, I've been noticing a couple things. Dwight Howard's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> bit sniping has been very, very low key. Uh, especially on the rubies and the sapphire end. If you guys know pricing, like that Ruby Jerry West for 4200 might be a sick buy. Because I don't... Oh, all right, all right. So this is what's weird. Amethyst went up in value. Ruby's dropped in value. That is expected. But... Oh, I wish I had enough MT for that. That would be, that'd be sick. That would be on my squad. Um, but Ruby's went up. Uh, Ruby's went down and Amethyst did it. Now that makes me wonder. Why? I can tell you why right now, actually. The, this happened pretty much. It's very simple. This happened because amethysts are the new diamond this year. No, wait, wait, wait. Actually. So, gold's the new bronze. Silver is the new emerald, technically. This is the new gold. This is the new sapphire. This is the new freaking ruby. And this is technically an amethyst. And that's honestly facts. So pretty much this is diamond and then pink diamond is going to be galaxy opal and then dark matter is going to be galaxy opal so technically they did get rid of a tier which is pretty interesting they got rid of two tiers um but gold still aren't usable so i don't understand the whole point of it in my opinion i don't understand the point of it at all but you know what i, I don't know that's just how i feel um but right now make mt market is really high rubies are dropping but that, it's because rubies are going to be literally there is no point of rubies honestly they're only good for right now when more of comes out these these rubies are not going to be usable once they come out with amethyst players once amethyst players drop to like really affordable pricing at like 8k these cards will be absolutely not usable at all um so if you do have if you've owned ruby cards market's pretty high right now i would get rid of them Literally, no lie. This is a huge market rise today. I would get rid of them. I think you can make some easy, easy MT. Now, if you think about it, looking at the sapphires, if you look how cheap they are, these sapphires dropped a ton. They went down a ton. So I guess more people are getting the game every single day. Um, these sapphires are a thousand and are cheaper. They're gonna be even cheaper than that. Their quick sell value, I think, is around 600-ish MC. So let's go over to a sapphire I own. I'm pretty sure their their sapphires are around 600 MT to quick sell. So 500 MT to quick sell. So they're gonna drop to around 800 and 700. So those are also gonna drop. I would 110 percent try getting rid of those as well. Um, wait a second. We have Blake Griffin, and I need some MT. So I'm gonna sell him so I can try to make some MT. Um, hopefully he sells. I need MT badly. I am absolutely broke in this game. Um, I guess we'll start from scratch. I literally came here with 100 MT. We're going to try to grind. We're going to try to make some more MT. That's just how it's going to work. So pretty much, we're going to start the series, I guess. No money spent snipes. 
Um, that's pretty much gonna be fire. Amethyst, so going over the amethyst, like I said, all the amethysts are the legends. So like once newer cards come out, like once modern day cards come out, you're gonna see these legends drop. They're gonna be very irrelevant. So like guys, right now, if you are running a pretty solid squad, sell it. Pick up some sapphires. Sapphires are way too close to rubies. Pick up, you know, honestly, you can pick up some rubies too. You're not gonna lose a lot of MT. <clears throat> Just market manage it. You're gonna make a lot of MT off market managing. Um, but right now, as of right now, I think the best snipe filter, the most movement in every snipe filter, is honestly going to be Ruby, in my opinion. You just got to know who you're sniping. Pay attention to Manu. Manu's going to pop up a lot. I made a lot of MT off Manu. Probably made around 8k off Manu in a couple hours. Um, just honestly, this is going to be your most competitive snipe filter. This is what's going to make you the most MT. Then we also have Diamond Shoes. I kind of want to stay away from Diamond Shoes for as of right now. They're too confusing. And not only that... It's just like, it's all over the place. There's no set price. And honestly, I don't think anyone's going to buy diamond shoes as of right now. These PGs look cool. But honestly, I would just stay away from them. Let's go to diamond shoes. Let's go to shoe colorways. Another thing. These are just boosts. They're just, they're just so confusing, bro. Like, I don't understand these either. You need five diamond boosts for those. As of right now, they're also irrelevant. There's The, the shoes are just not relevant at all right now. And then we're going to give one more tier look. We're going to give Emerald a tier look and see what's going on over here. Uh, me personally, Emerald's low key. Emeralds are goals pretty much. But there is some good Emeralds. Like this Big O Smith is definitely good. He's definitely freaking good. His defense might not be all there, but he's good. <clears throat> Sean Marion is always clamps. And you know what? In this day and age, bro, if you guys have been playing this game, defense is freaking hard this year. Defense, like the sliding, like at least it's because my team does suck. Like sliding and shit, it's kind of hard. Defense, more of offense. But then again, on offense, you can't shoot threes as of right now because there is no high-end players, you know? So it's pretty cool what 2K is doing. I'm honestly excited. We might stream today as well. But um, Emeralds are pretty much going to the point where it's non-existent. It's pretty much just rubies. But like honestly, we need more content. We need locker codes. We need locker codes badly. We need some we need some MT flow. And honestly, I think on this account, I'm going to type in some locker codes. I don't even have any locker codes typed in on this account. But uh, other than that, did anybody get the Luka cover? Because I don't know why Luka Doncic is a 73 overall. It makes absolutely no sense to me. Like, does that make any sense to anybody? Because it doesn't to me. And I would just love to know um, what you guys do with your colorway shoes. That's another thing. What did you guys do with your colorway shoes? Like, did you do anything with your colorway shoes? Like, what's the vibes with that? Like, I would really love to know. Like, honestly. And also, what game modes have you been playing? Triple Threat Online or Triple Threat Offline? But, uh, yeah. I just want to know. Other than that, that is all we got for the video. Ooh, we got this new guy. That's pretty cool. We got Gerald. Who is that? Gerald? Gerard. Who the hell is this? But anyways, yeah. That's all we got for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.